Okay, well, welcome to the webinar, everyone. Welcome to this auric etheric clearing. I thank you all for coming here today, taking the time out of your day. So how are you all feeling today? And just feeling good. Michelle, fantastic. All right, tired, but glad this is on. Gail, okay. Barbara, good. Deb, good. Chris, anxious, shit in Victoria. Well, you've certainly got your work cut out for you there, Chris, hey? <laughs> Irina, tired and upset. Fiona, okay. Michael, focused. Michelle, exhausted. Fiona, not bad. Warren, great. Everyone is being honest. I couldn't agree more, Warren. It's, it's, it's great to see that. Minyu, good. Generally, just a bit complacent. Maria, Rob G, flat in Victoria. Yeah, I, um, like Warren said, and I certainly agree that it's great that everyone's being honest right now already. And yeah, Delma, I mean, I'm excited for this webinar as well. I trust you all as excited as I am. So anyway, without further ado, let's get this underway. So let's, so we'll now start off by showing you what you will learn. So you will be, so you'll, this is what you'll be learning. The, you'll be learning the, um, the different pillars here. The, the first pillar is how powerful energy is all around you and how you can summon, harness, and channel it to improve all areas of your life. The second one is you'll be learning the spiritual and scientific principles of financial imprints and money blockages and any and emotions or any other traumas and how to eliminate and shield yourself from their damaging effects. The third one is how to find the source of and unhook the, the hidden attachments, secretly attracting business, investments, and personal losses to you, not just that, but also any but also any negative events, negative toxic people, or health problems, or whatever it is you're going through. How to overcome and reverse past negative business experiences, as well as any other traumatic experiences, investment losses, and financial problems that fracture your energy field and block you from achieving any future wealth and success as well as any success in your spiritual journey or whatever it is that you're seeking. And finally, I will facilitate a powerful step-by-step -step life clearing, freeing you of sabotaging negative blockages. So just like a powerful magnet, you can attract prosperity in all areas of your life. So I personally will be doing a life clearing on this webinar today. So like a magnet that you can attract prosperity in all areas of your life and be set free from any sabotaging negative blocks or anything related. Okay, so my promise to you today is that this training is to help you experience the power of auric clearing and transform any hidden turmoil or constraints. By doing this, you'll start to notice profound shifts and improvements in not only your finances, but also your health, your relationships, and in all other areas of your life. And as a bonus, I'll be giving those who take advantage and stay to the end an opportunity to further their education on how to rapidly increase success in all areas of their life. Clients have increased their income and, in, and increased their energy, their spiritual journey, their health by anywhere from 50% to 500%, and in rare cases, a thousand percent and even experienced physical healings from this training. So including physical, what people may call miracles. Regardless of whether you take advantage of this life-changing offer, I am supremely confident you will get tremendous value in today's training. Okay, so now, now, now let's go through something here just quick. If you're stuck right now and not achieving the results you want, then more than likely you have hidden sabotages and blocks stopping you from achieving the success you deserve. So type a Y in the text chat if that resonates. Sachi, yes, Michelle, Gail, Michelle, and Chris. Yep, so just about everyone. Yep.
The big question is, how committed are you to investigating the problem and making the commitment and apply the learnings to improve your life? So just type in the text chat, how committed are you to solving this problem? Big time Daniela, very, and very Dolma and Michelle, Tasha now done. Fiona Foley, Irina, 100%, Maria, very. Suzanne, that is why I'm here. Yeah, love the honesty there. Already on this path, already on this path for some time. And and Deb, yep, very much. So base, so basically everyone here. Awesome. And Barbara already on this path, but ready to go further. Yes, awesome. So with your permission, I'd love to show you a tool that will help you clear existing blockages and keep your mind, body, and, sh and spirit shielded from future negative attacks. Now, does this sound like you? You're intuitively sensing or know, you th or know that you have financial imprints or money blocks or any health problems, whatever it is going on, because you aren't creating the amount of money you deserve and you're not you're not achieving the results that you're manifesting and you're not achieving the results that you would that you would like to so just type a why if this does sound like you chris yes michelle gail starchy barbara dolma michelle bob judith yep so everyone here so you have attracted business or investment losses in the past and you're suspecting you have negative energy or spiritual blocks which are holding you back. So not just business or, or investment losses, but it could also be like losses with even friendships or toxic relationships, negative health problems, low on energy or anything else. Gail, a big yes. Unrewarded efforts, Daniela, Suzanne. Or, or maybe you can make money, but since there are sabotaging factors preventing you from achieving success in other areas of your life. So in other words, you may be able to make money or you may have one, one or two areas sorted out in your life, but you may sense that there are other factors in, the factors in your life which are preventing you from achieving success in other areas in which you would like. So just type a wife, that's the case. Michelle said self-sabotage. Yeah, that's definitely a common one, Michelle. Deb and Mark, Y, Suzanne, Gail, Fiona, Judith, Barbara, self-sabotage too. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of that. I do sense a lot of that right now. Maria, Mariah, Linda, Michelle, Saatchi, definitely self-sabotage. So there's definitely a lot of that here. So, okay, so now you're ready to experience real transformation and help yourself to get the life you want. So just type a Y if you are. Linda, Suzanne, and that you'd be willing to do whatever it takes. All right, this is great. It's great to see so many people committed and very keen to get them to get the problem sorted out. This is great. Irina, yep, and yes, awesome. Okay, so so things like negative money experiences that all comes from or from negative blockages and attachments and all kinds of stuff which we'll be talking about in this webinar and this training with Auric Clearing. Okay, so now just a little bit about me before we get into it and my story. Mike, all these fuckers don't want me to get better. I'm having an attack episode now. Get it out of me. Well, you well, you've certainly come at the right time, Michael. So you so just main thing is just to what just just wait a bit because we will get to the live clearing in this webinar soon. So now about me. So I attended school until eighth grade, and despite having friends and everything seeming all right on the surface, 
I never felt like I fit in. I failed my classes. I didn't do well. Um, because of it all, depressed, full of anger and miserable, I was unable to learn properly due to the teaching methods not, not reaching me. So in, so in other words, because I was full of anger, very miserable and depressed, I couldn't learn properly and I felt and I felt like the teaching methods they were using were not working for me. So I acted out and I didn't and I and I didn't do well in class and I and I wasn't happy with life at all. I hated the world. But then it all changed when I switched from school to homeschool starting from ninth grade ending at 11th. And from that I became much happier. I got the one-on-one -on -one help I needed from tutors. Not only that, but I also got the help. I also got the help I needed to deal with the cause of my depression, and which was which was I mean not only school but many but many other factors, such as me being stuck in the past and feeling abandoned, and um, ultimately just not facing my not fully facing my emotions and my demons, whatever people may call it. And it helped me to learn the spiritual and esoteric and the business side of things to get me to where I am today. I also did some busking at the Fremantle markets using card magic. And this taught me to think creatively and how I could be better to generate more cash flow. So this meant that it taught me to think outside the box and, and also or, and never being satisfied, always looking to be better, always looking for room for improvement to not only generate more cash flow, but also to apply it in every other area of my life. I never needed to get a job because busking helped me not to rely on somebody else. So in other words, by, by busking and by, and by not getting a job, it helped me to be very independent and self-reliant. And, and and basically not rely not be stuck where not be stuck in a dead end job or somewhere where I would not like. Daniela sounds like my teenage daughter. Well, that's great. Sounds like she's on the right track then. Michael, Michael said, Michael, I'm here just trying not to faint, bro. Uh, well, don't worry, Michael. Just may I would say just have some water right now. And main and the main thing is to just, just hang in there. And I studied Cert 3 in business admin in my final year of schooling at TAFE. I was also featured on Today Tonight TV through my business mentors at the time using my card magic busking business. And I was one of the few students chosen to be featured in this one. And, and now I now perform clearings on people's sicknesses, illnesses, injuries, accidents, and diseases in their auric field right before it manifests in their physical life. So in other words, I clear it from their auric field, from their etheric, right before it manifests into a physical problem or like or a toxic relationship or, or some kind of catastrophic event in their life. And on top of that, I guide them on how they can do that for themselves. So, so not only am I clearing them, but I'm also teaching them how they can do that and apply it to their own life. Okay, so now, so now let's get into the auric clearing. So firstly, what's an auric field? What's, what is it? So before we get into today's training, let's first have a look at the auric field. How did you learn it? Uh, so, so just to clarify, do you, do you mean like, how did I learn the spiritual and esoteric, the auric clearing, Daniela? Just type Y if so. Yeah. So basically how I learned this was through, was through my, through my father's mentor at the time, Toby Alexander, because Warren had invested a lot of money to learn this auric clearing with Toby Alexander and what and what had, what had happened was that he taught not only Warren, but also me. And basically that's how it got me now. So, okay. So, yep. So hope that helps. So now, so now, so just, so just to clarify, so just so, just so we can, so just so this um, training will flow, flow better. Uh, I'm I'm definitely happy to answer questions, but I would but it would be better to answer them at the end. 
So I'm happy to take all questions at the end, but just for now, we'll just keep it flowing. So like I, like I was saying, we'll first look at the auric field just before we get into the auric clearing. Now, we don't just have a physical body. Some of you have probably worked that out. There's an auric field which surrounds us. We have an auric field or higher light body which, will sur which surrounds us. The auric field is our energetic or higher light body which exists beyond the physical world. So while we may have this physical body, we also have a higher light energy body, which, ex which cannot be seen with the naked eye. And our auric field is the real source, which is keeping us alive because this is where our energy and spirit flows through. So, it, so it wouldn't, it's not the egg on toast you ate for breakfast this morning or the coffee you drank, or it's, or maybe some, or protein powder from the gym or anything like that. It's uh, ultimately it's our auric field which is keeping us alive, because like like it says here, this is where our real energy and spirit flows through. We also have eight morphogenetic chakras in our auric field, so I'm sure you've all heard of the seven chakras in the, of the the embodied ones, but what you may not know or you may know is that we have eight in our auric field. So these chakras exist within our auric field. And unfortunately, most people are not aware of this, which may explain why they create auric attachments daily through various sources such as karma. So, so uh, most because most people are, are unaware, this definitely is, expi um, is an explanation of why they create auric attachments all the time. So now let's take a look at auric attachments. Now, what are they? Auric attachments are negative energies or entities which exist within our auric field. They can range from barbs and hooks to spears, demons, wounded souls, and so forth. They can, be, they can be all kinds of different forms. And ultimately, these get in the way of us connecting to our higher self and getting mental clarity. So this is just one of many problems that they're capable of causing. They can get in the way of us connecting to our higher self and getting mental clarity. Not just that, but connecting to ascended masters, receiving higher guidance and insight and messages from those higher realms and all kinds of different issues. They also have the ability to drain our energy field, which keep us from optimum functioning. So they, they do have the capability to, to leave you with little to no energy which means that it will be very difficult for you to function throughout the day and, and also be able to do what you love, be able to do your path and keep you, keep you stuck in a dead end cycle of misery and depression. And they will eventually manifest in your physical life if they're not cleared and dealt with in the etheric. So in other words, if you don't deal with them while they're still in your etheric field, then they will manifest in your physical life as a forced awakening to wake you up. And I'm, as, as you can imagine, I'm sure that is not something you want. The big question is, how are they created? Let's dive in. They're most commonly created from what are called analogical experiences, which in turn create what are called ids. So an analogical experience basically means a traumatic experience where something so traumatic happens to you and that it cuts and the wound is cut so deep that you basically freeze for a moment in time and it and then it basically changes you as a person. So an example of that could be like maybe you come home from work one day to find your partner cheating on you or maybe... Or maybe like someone that you, someone close to you passed away, or, or, or may, or you saw you witnessed something very traumatic as a, as a child. It could be any any kind of traumatic event, and um, will will we'll create what are called ids, which we'll get into a bit, and which we will get into soon. What ids are? They're also created by making choices which are not aligned with the higher spiritual laws or your own truth. This is how this this is another big way that they created the choices that you make. 
So sometimes people may think we don't have a choice, but the truth is we always do. It's just a matter of which one you decide. So, uh, so the trouble that we have is that people no longer follow the higher spiritual laws. They, and people don't, they don't live or speak their own truth. They try to appease everybody. They live by other people's values and they live by, and they live basically, and they're too afraid to speak their truth, express who they are. And they and have no interest in learning the higher spiritual laws. Not managing your emotions and exploding with no self-control. So this is another way. If you don't manage your emotions and if you don't, if you don't control them, then this, this is how another way that you can create them. Not speaking your truth or constantly mistreating and hurting other people. So this is another one by not speaking your truth, not being who you are, not, not living your truth and not doing what you want to do. Only, only trying to please other people or constantly treating others like shit. That's, and that's another one. Misuse of sexual energy. So e.g. lying, lying to get sex from someone, cheating, manipulation, power games, just having sex for the sake of it with no purpose and all kinds of different reasons. Constantly rescuing other people and never thinking about yourself. So this, this means that even when people don't need help, you, you decide that you, you decide that you want to, you want to try and help them. And basically even when they don't need it, which will in turn cause resentment within them and then resentment within you. And it will be an, a vicious cycle of basically a healer and a sick and healers, especially are prone to falling into this trap. And I myself have where, uh, where, where we've rescued, where we've rescued people because we feel so bad for them, which of course is not, so, is, isn't a bad thing. It's great. It's, it's actually a great thing to have compassion and to feel the pain of other people. But there's also a fine line between helping someone who genuinely wants to change and who genuinely needs it rather than somebody who clearly doesn't want to, and who's just looking to get a freebie kind of thing. <clears throat> so just type a Y in the text chat if any of those um, related to you, if you know, if you know uh, intuitively that you created uh, any attachments by doing any of those. Suzanne, Delma, Gail, Michael, Saatchi, Game Guys, Irina, Fiona, Judith, Chris Hill. Yeah, more than I expected. Yeah, it certainly is like that. Michelle rescuing others. Yeah, and that's that's quite a common one, rescuing people. Danielle suppressing. Yeah, that's another one. Saatchi trauma. Okay, so now let's let's dive into how they affect you. So and keeping it in. Yep, a lot of yep, that's the main one. People suppressing, keeping it in. So these affect you <clears throat> but because you lose touch of your real soul and create a whole new identity for yourself. <clears throat> so in other words, you're, you end up becoming a fake and you end, up not, you end up not being who you are. So you lose, you'll lose touch of your real soul. It will fragment into different pieces and you'll create a whole new identity. So this means that maybe if you were once very happy, and you were on your path and, and you were very much in your power, but uh, if you, and then it can go from that to, to falling into a depression, very miserable, you're hardened, you're angry, you're miserable. And you basically then flounder around and have no idea to, of what to do next. So that's what, that's why, that's why you have, that's why all those stories happen where somewhere maybe you, we've heard of someone who was once very bright and bubbly and are very and happy with life and were on their path, but then they went the complete 180. It's like they changed overnight. So that, that, that's how stuff like that happens. The attachments become more solidified and condensed if not dealt with quickly. So that relates to what we were just talking about just now. 
where the, the longer you keep it suppressed, the longer you keep it hidden, the more solidified and condensed it becomes and the harder it becomes to clear because then you'll, you'll be creating layers upon layers of it. Instead of clearing like one or two layers, you can end up having to clear layer upon layer like an onion or like a cake. And they get into each of your 15 chakras and block them from flowing properly. So this is how like people, this is how people end up with being tired all the time, having no little to no energy. And this is how they, are, they remain unhappy and why they can't and the why they can't seem to connect to ascended masters and the higher dimensions and why they can't seem to figure out what their purpose is um, and all kinds of different problems like that. So when they when they block all your chakras, that's how all these different problems start arising. You can potentially attract unwanted experiences or relationships in your life. So in, in other words, until you deal with these auric attachments fully, and until you deal with what's going on within you, then it, you'll you'll keep attracting unwanted experiences or relationships in your life until you do until it's loved and until it's clean. Ascending back to source and being at one with him will not be possible. So if you don't deal with these, you can forget them. You can forget about ascension. It's not going to happen unless you, you, you really deal with it and clear it all out. Accessing the higher dimensions and your higher self will be a major challenge. So you won't. So even if you're able to access the higher dimensions, it will it will be very rough and it will be a difficult process and it will be challenging. <coughs> and you may you may even experience pain while doing it. So here's well here's an interesting fact for you to know. <coughs> so these effects are the reason someone can experience a radical change in personality. So like we discussed earlier where someone can go from being on purpose and being in their power, being happy, um, enjoying life. They can go from that to very cold, very hard and very angry and off and very much well off their path. So that's how someone can change overnight. Simply because they went through something traumatic and created ids out of it. When ids are not cleared and dealt with, you lose touch of your true soul and you can end up as someone whose light has grown dim. So in other words, if you, if you keep the ids and you don't clear them and bring back your real soul, you will lose, you will eventually lose it. And you'll just end up as someone like a zombie where you you may be alive with your physical body, but your spirit is dead. And this results in you losing yourself and being led astray from your purpose. So you not only lose yourself, but you, but you also lose your path. You lose your vision. And of course, you'll attract experiences according to that frequency. Because whatever frequency we are embodying in, or the frequency we're carrying, what is, that's going to attract experiences and, and people, places, times, things and events according to it. Financially, you'll strive and struggle and you'll have money blocks everywhere and you'll be shackled by finances. Another interesting fact for you. <clears throat> Auric attachments locate themselves in your chakras based on the emotion and trauma that you've experienced. So uh, in other words, whatever, you've, whatever negative emotions or traumas you've experienced, the auric attachments you create will base themselves in the chakra depending on it. So this means each of your seven chakras all have a completely different meaning and frequency. This means that whatever emotion, accident, illness, trauma, or anything similar will determine where the blockage will be in the chakras. So as you can see, there's the root, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, um, third eye, and the crown. So they all have very different meanings. As an example, if you have an unresolved experience around heartbreak and love, it will be stored in the heart chakra, which is the fourth one. And if you have an unresolved experience of not speaking your truth and or lying to somebody, it will be in your throat chakra, the fifth one. Or if you have 
an unresolved one around the sex, sex, sexual energy, or the creativity, it will be in the cycle, the second one. So now just type in the texture, which chakra jumps out for you when you, when you get a sense into it. Um, fourth, Daniela, Sacral and Root, Michelle, Throat, Saatchi, Heart, Gail, Throat, Menu, Solar Plexus, Susie, Fourth and Fifth, mo Fifth mostly. So Delma, what I'm saying is which chakra jumps out at you the most when you, when you tune in and see, see where you've been hurt the, the most? Michael, one through to seven. <laughs> Lady Cool Heart, Delma Nun. Okay. Game Guys, Heart and Throat, Mariah Throat, Gail Sacral as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, for most, yeah, for most people, it's that it's it's usually more than one chakra. For most, it's it's usually all seven, or if not, close. Deb and Mark throat. All right, so now, so now we can discuss ids and all of these different attachments. So these are the different types of auric attachments which exist. The first one, uh, but, uh, what are called occupants. So what that is, is a soulless thought form which thinks it owns your body. And, and basically how these are created is around your mind. It's around your thoughts. So that's where if you experience something traumatic or if you were angry with someone or or if you were or if you had some kind of conflict and some kind of some some kind of scott stifle whatever then what will ha then what will happen is that <clears throat> if you if you don't if you don't deal with that if you don't deal with that quickly what will happen is that occupants will be created so just to, so the, the short version of that is the way to create occupants here is basically by holding a grudge in other words. So instead of letting it go and clearing it and releasing it, you decide to hold on to it because the trouble is it starts off as just a negative thought, a negative thought. But then if you, if you keep putting more charge and more energy into it and you keep, you keep holding on to it, you don't let it go. Then it then it starts becoming harder and harder until it's no longer a thought. It then becomes a negative thought form, which then thinks it owns your body and it will create and it will attract all kinds of disastrous events to you. Because I mean, when it comes to your thoughts, we have and we'll get into this a bit later, but I'll touch on it just briefly. Where we have a conscious mind and, and a subconscious mind. It's like an iceberg. So the conscious mind is where is the top of the iceberg, which is not much. And then the subconscious is the re is the real depth. So like more than 95%. So this means that, so that, so the way you can look at it is this. So the subconscious mind is uh, like a movie projector and this, and whatever thoughts or thought forms you're feeding into that movie projector will then well then is then going to put it on display in your physical life so this means this means that whatever occupants you've created because due to their strong magnetic pull they will they will start manifesting all kinds of negative and catastrophic events into your life so if you for example had a comp had some conflict with someone and you didn't let go of the anger then the occupants can pull, can magnetically pull someone who is just like them or worse, and it will keep doing that until you until you fully dealt with it. So, in other words, it's it's up to you to let it go. Um, so that's occupants. Uh, the scarlets are beings who have died, but they haven't yet passed through the tunnel. So basically, it means they're stuck. So although they've died and they don't have a physical body anymore, their soul is now trapped in that astral, the fourth dimension. And while most discarnates are actually harmless, because most of them are just 
seeking to get to go to the light and go for their life of you. There are also very malicious ones which are out to cause you harm. Because to keep one thing about the scarnets is that they feed. The, the only way that you attract a discarnate to, to, towards yourself is if you if you have a similar energy to them. So for example, if one was an alcoholic while they were alive, and if you start drinking alcohol and you can't you, and you're addicted to it, they'll then they'll find they can latch onto you and then feed off your energy from that. So so that's so that, that's the trouble because the scarlets, it's not a nice place for them up there because everything is more highlighted because whereas we can hide, we can hide our problems and whatever, they cannot. Everything's all highlighted. And on top of that, because they're no longer in a physical body anymore, they cannot, they cannot use anything to cope. So if someone was an alcoholic or smoker while they were alive, well, any of us could just go to a liquor store or a convenience store for smokes and, and alcohol, they cannot do that. So then all they can do is try to find someone with a similar energy that they can latch onto and feed off their energy, kind of like a parasite. So that's the scarnets. And then the worm wormholes are basically tunnels or portals which connect your higher light body to another dimension. And through this wormhole, negative energy, negative entities from higher, from the higher dimensions can actually feed off your energy. And Victor asked if occupants or the scarlets latch onto you and be beneficial. Uh, absolutely not. So, uh, and worm, so that's wormholes and port. So with portals and now with portals, these are created basically when when you when you're rescuing somebody. So this comes back to the rescuing we were talking about and why why you need to make sure you don't do it and get caught up in that cycle. Because when you rest when you fall into that trap, or if you take on other people's energy and absorb it like a sponge, and empaths are especially vulnerable to this, where you feel so bad for someone because you can see they're in pain and that they needs that they need help and guidance but which is fine but yet instead of actually um, giving them the proper support and actually and actually waiting for them to come to you to what to actually be ready to change you instead decide to take to shoulder their burdens and take on their problems which is the worst thing that you can do for your auric field for your for, and for your light because then it will create portals are like slits in your auric field. <clears throat> and that's where energy can escape from. And where it will leave, this will leave you without little to no energy, depression, health issues, and all kinds of problems. And you've probably noticed that people who rescue tend to have one of those issues happening. Okay, so now it's. So ids are basically a fragment of your soul, which is alive and well affecting you from the past. So, they're not, so basically what this means is that when you fracture off a piece of your real soul, what happens is you then create, um, you then, you then create a new identity for yourself as we were, as we were just talking about. And what happens is as you create the new identity for yourself, uh, you then you've then lost that true piece of your soul. So basically, this is a fragment of your soul which has replaced your which has replaced your real soul. So, for example, if you if you have an id around victimization, so where you experience something traumatic, where you where you became a victim, then you'll have an id around that. Or if you have an id around love, so where so where maybe someone cheated on you or 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 if you or maybe you're together with someone who didn't who didn't truly love you back or anything like that that that's another one having an id around love so it can be an id around anything so that's an id and now person now we have um, now we have the personalities so the personalities are like the shadow selves of the ids so in, so in other words, the personalities um, with the ids, this is how stuff like split personality disorder comes into play. 
because um, personalities are very much connected with ids and discards. Because when you have um, when you have like so many ids at once, or if you have several discardants going on in your field, this is how someone can go from sweet and kind to so, to someone you don't even know to like so, a, a complete asshole and someone who's just set out to make the life everyone's life miserable or they change and they're, they're rapidly jumping from one personality to the other. So that's how that, so these are the shadows of the ids. And, uh, and then you have the archetypes. So archetypes are basically, well, these, these are basically reverse. These are basically reversals of, these are reversals of your true, of your personality and who you are. Because, because I mean, archetypes have a lot to do with how with how you were raised and your upbringing, amongst other factors. Because archetype, because archetypes, there are twelve different archetypes, which is a different course together. But uh, but but for context here, I'll give one of them, which is called the righteous virgin or ultimate innocent. So if some if you have this archetype, it would mean you're in massive denial and you're you basically put on a fake happy face to shield yourself um, for, and everyone else from the pain that you're feeling and from the, from the stuff which you're refusing to deal with. And they have a huge fear of abandonment and they have a huge fear of abandonment and they always have a million friends and they always have, and they always have a lot of different lovers and other stuff to keep, to, to keep filling the void, which they're not facing and they're not dealing with. So these archetypes, so in other words, the way you're raised, the, your conditioning and everything that you've went through, it shapes, uh, it will shape your personality, who you become and the archetypes that you will embody. Another one would be, would be a tyrant, would be a tyrant for an example. So, so that, so these are basically the different auric attachments. So now, how do you clear these? The main the, so the main method of clearing auric attachments is, is with an auric clearing. An auric clearing is the fastest and most effective way to transmute these attachments or anything related. All right, so now let's, so we'll now look into how to clear them. So step on your path and, and purpose and live it. So if, discover what your path and purpose is and truly live it and stay on it and don't and help and keep yourself accountable and have others around you to keep you accountable to keep so you don't go astray start making choices which are more aligned with the universal laws and your own truth <clears throat> so start making better choices and start living your truth and speaking your truth being you check for any karma which you may have what you may have with someone or yourself and make it right Seek to serve something beyond yourself and be mindful of not falling into personal gain. So this may, so in other words, for, um, seek, seek to serve and find, find some, a cause, or it could be as little, it could even be as little as giving, uh, as giving maybe a few bucks to a homeless person or giving them a meal to something as big as helping a charity and helping with well, helping the world hunger or whatever. So this means to, so this is basically saying to seek to serve something which goes beyond you. So then you don't fall into personal gain and it will keep you humble. Okay, so now let's, so we'll now look into what an auric clearing is. So what is an auric clearing? In simple terms, it means clearing your auric field. So to describe that further, Auric clearing involves scanning the multidimensional light body. It also uses higher esoteric language, energy directing techniques and relevant codes to communicate with your higher self, as well as your subconscious mind to permanently transmute these attachments. You will then recover golden soul fragments that represent pearls of wisdom from the issue being cleared. So you'll, you will, you will not only recover your, who your gold, your golden soul fragments and who you are, but you'll also, you also have the wisdom and the lessons to, to prevent it from happening again. And that, and you've learned 
At the end of the session, we download new chords, new templates, and new soul programming from the higher self. This will result with you embodying a much higher frequency in life. And plus, your reality can change by attracting people, places, times, and events that resonate with your new higher frequency. So, you, so now, instead of attracting catastrophic events, such as health issues or financial hardship or loss or toxic relationships um, or like losing, losing people close to you or anything like that, you, you will then, you'll start attracting these things which will resonate with your, your new higher frequency. All right, so now let's look at, look, now we'll look at the science behind clearing fi the financial imprints and behind auric clearing. So to, to put it simply, the universe is one giant hologram. And scientists are agreeing that there is a quantum or esoteric realm which governs all things. So now let's look at some examples. So Carl Pribham, a Stanford, Uni Stanford University neurophysicist, David Bohm, University of London physicist, Amit Goswani, Oxford University physicist, and Dr. Joe Dispenza. So to put it another way, they are realizing that consciousness precedes matter. So they're now realizing after all these years that consciousness precedes matter and not the other way around, like, like what was thought in times past. Even Michael Talbot in his book, The Holographic Universe, had a very interesting view on this topic. In the holographic universe, he suggests that coffee cups, trees, table lamps, or anything might not exist or even exist in the way we believe them to be. In other words, it's one big illusion. The mystics are right. So he believes that everything is a mere illusion and everything that the mystics have been saying are right and that they're not crazy after all. So, so, that, so that's one miracle we can, that we can look at. Science and religion are agreeing. Your mind is like a radio transmitter which tunes into the radio stations of infinite realms of energy. And that, which means we are manifesting every second, minute, hour of the day and night. So we're constantly manifesting. Our thoughts create our reality. So like we were talking about before with the, the consciousness of conscious mind. Not just that, but also the collective consciousness of those around us, i.e. we are affected by the mass mind, so by everyone around us. Our life is a hologram of what we create. So everything going on in your physical reality is, is all, is all a court linked back to your beliefs, your thoughts, your emotions, and what, whatever is going on within you. So, and, and the trouble is everyone gets so caught up with trying to blame something outside themselves that they don't even bother to try to take responsibility for the own mess in their life that they've created. So your subconscious mind works with your conscious mind. It is like a film or movie screen. So, and so that, this is what we were mentioning earlier, that, that these two work hand in hand, and they can either be your greatest asset or your greatest enemy, depending what, which road you decide to take. So like, so like I said, the movie screen, so the movie projector is your subconscious mind. The movie screen is your conscious mind. So it, it, your, um, uh, whoops, no, that's not right. So what I was saying is that the subconscious mind is the movie projector and whatever, whatever thoughts or whatever, whatever CD you place in that movie, it's going to projector, it will play that movie. And it won't play a different one, no matter how hard you, you try or how hard you want it. So in turn, it is affected by deeper layers, quantum layers of mind imprints and other programming which you have collected. So this means that your subconscious mind is affected by deeper quantum layers. So this go this isn't just surface area, but it go it, it indeed goes into other programming, conditioning, how you were raised, and all kinds of different factors. So like I said before, the the subconscious mind is that deeper bit, is that deep, 
bigger part of the iceberg and the conscious mind is only that small surface. So in conclusion, scientists have discovered that classic physics is questionable and quantum physics makes sense. So this means that classic physics is now outdated and quantum physics makes sense. Everything is interconnected. We're not separate like we used to believe. We are all connected as one energy, as one whole. Space and time don't exist. They are not linear. Holographic theory is real. So hologram, the world being a hologram and everything is real. It's true. And unless you are actively combating the mass mind, it does not matter what you try to do. You'll keep attracting back to the same hologram as it's your consciousness, which determines your reality. So, so Warren, I know that, so Warren, I know that you're very knowledgeable in this kind of area, the science behind auric clearing. You, would you care to add anything to all of this? Yeah, look, basically would be the auric clearing. I can remember being in Vegas and when I first was learning it, I was getting like years and years ago, I was getting amazing kind of results in that. But the thing that really hit home was I remember going to one of those Vegas seminars and I was sitting there um, with Dr. Beatrice Williams, who's written PhD and lots of medical papers in Romania throughout America. And her whole study has been the etheric body about how um, medical institutions and, and, me and mental hospitals are getting extraordinary results for people um, by literally going in there and doing holographic shifting. That's what they were doing. And what she concluded was pretty much your body, you come into this life with an etheric template, but you spent a lot of it trying to prove what we already knew spiritually. And what happens is that whatever's in your ferric body will keep coming back to you and it'll keep repeating until you deal with it. And like, as an example, I, I literally had a gall, I was having gallbladder attacks many years ago. I cured it using the part of Don Coleman's and um, Richard Schultz's um, cleansing methodology. And it took me 30 days of fasting and cleansing and I passed tons of stones and did a couple more of that year and it all good. I'm great now. And then about, you know, a couple of years later, I had a relapse, let's do another one. And, a couple of years later, I had another relapse, and then a couple of years later, I had another relapse. And so I think, okay, so something's going on here. And I remember realizing, of course, that yeah, there's a serious imprint going on here. So I talked with someone in between us. We worked on clearing the etheric imprint and doing an etheric body clearing on my what's called my esoteric, my etheric gallbladder and my meridian gallbladder, and clearing out all the imprints and going through all the chakras and testing it all out. And yeah, basically, it pretty much. That uh, six weeks later, I had to do one more fast, and after that, it was like I had a whole new ball butter. It's literally incredible difference. So, the science basically they found this in the science that what happens is that you're, you have this you have your like normal body, your physical body, you have your mental and soul, you've got this etheric body, and homeopathics work on it, all kinds of stuff. So, if you've got like a trauma or anything in your etheric, or even ancestral trauma, you know, and I'm seeing this right now with someone in my life who's having major attacks of an illness they cured 10 years ago, which are getting a little bit better now because they're realizing about the um the whole etheric thing. And they've actually realized that there's no logical reason it should happen. They eat everything correctly, all the stuff they did 10 years ago, like changing their diet, fixed it, and then the same thing happened. And they literally haven't broken their diet or done anything. And so of course, you know, first they were beside themselves with fear and distress for a couple of weeks until they realized that, you know, this is actually an etheric, um, an etheric thing. And once they've realized that, um, just over the last couple of days, they've had a breakthrough and they're starting to now go, okay, in fact, even this afternoon, we we're talking about it. And um, well, you know, I'm talking about really a bit of what we talked about before. So it's actually starting to make a shift now. And so, yeah, the, the science has actually found that your etheric body carries it. You come in with a past life thing, you come in carrying your ancestors, your other lifetimes, and um, yeah, it's quite extraordinary. And I'm, I've am i said this in the chat, but I've been using the Aura Clearing pretty much like more than any other clearing. Yesterday, I was feeling really out of thoughts. My throat was getting a bit nipsy. And I wondered, and so I did a, a tuned in, and I had just go, and my throat chakra, so I cleared, cleared it out. And I think within an hour, my throat was back to normal. So, yeah, it's scientific. It's, um, and more and more scientists start to discover a very body and even... Ken Wilber's um, Religion of Tomorrow talks about the etheric body and how the next recognition of citizen to be a greater recognition of the etheric body and keeping the etheric body 
And that was the thing that got me fixed up, actually going and using the machine read to the cigar. So you actually work specifically on the etheric body using scanning the iris field. And that literally fixed and almost had after five years of nothing to fix. So yes, it's scientifically backed um, by all kinds of studies and real like practical and even machine reading. Yeah, that's the code look. Oh, wow. Well, th thank you very much, Warren. That, that's certainly very insightful. And yeah, I mean, I remember you telling me about Dr. Venus, about her discoveries and how she helped you with even a curse that went as back as 12 generations through this kind of clearing and the subconscious. So yeah, it's quite, it is quite amazing how all of this ties together with what's going on within you. Yeah. So thank you, Warren. No worries. All right. So it is like you're in an elastic band, which keeps pulling you back to the same place. So in other words, you're being pulled back to right back to square one. The law of attraction and frequency is like gravity or like radio waves. In other words, it isn't moral or emotional and it doesn't care what's fair, unfair or what should happen. It's just what is. So it doesn't care if you find it unfair and that it shouldn't be happening to you. It's just what is. It works how it works. So now, now we'll look at acquiring financial input and how it happens. Parents' beliefs and spoken words over us. So what your, what your parents spoke over you and what they believe about you and themselves. Going broke in your business or lo and losing everything being cheated on by a business partner or getting bad advice, losing in an, in an investment or having money with stolen from you, a traumatic emotional experience or neuro association, experiencing something traumatic, spiritual dissociation or repressive disorders. So like where, so where maybe you have a certain set of beliefs or emotions around, around how spirituality should work, and and or and that you believe that there should be no anger, all lovey, lo lovey, light kind of bullshit, and basically where you repress where or where you repress everything instead of getting it out. Bad examples around money, so like e.g. like heroes and business leaders who make a lot of money but they have poor character. So this this so this can also this also applies to the spiritual, like where maybe there's a teacher who can perform extraordinary miracles. But yet, as a person, they can be misogynistic, they right racist, very sexist towards women, or or just a complete asshat of the highest order. So that that so those kind of things do happen quite more commonly than you think. Making a bad mistake and creating a story around it, or blaming yourself or others, the trading markets, mass mind belief systems. Being in a corrupt, fire and greedy system, it's like a dirty house. So if you so if you keep cleaning, if you keep your house clean and you do vacuuming, you sweep and mop every day, the house is going to remain very spotless and very great to live in. Whereas as soon as you stop clear, cleaning out your house, then slowly but surely the dust riddles in and and things on the floor, it will slowly build up and it will become just as bad as it was previously, if not worse, mostly worse. So this means if you stop, if you don't combat the mass mind and clear yourself regularly, you will end up what you were like before or worse. Okay. So now let's look at some testimonials from different clients who have worked with me. So this, so this is so this is Steve, this is Steve Plummer from, from Sunshine Coast in Queensland. And and in, and in Steve and in Steve's words, he and, and basically in, and in Steve's words, he said that he said that everything I do with my clearing and my healing work is very transformative. And that he's been he's been working with me for the last couple of years. And that the results that and the results are worth it, despite how hard it, it may be at times, despite how much commitment and investment has to go into it. But in the end, he says it's all worth it. And that if you ha ever have the opportunity to to work with me, to grab it with both hands and grab it while it lasts. 
So this is so this is for Maida Zahara Hamid from Chicago. And in, and in her words, she did a DNA activation with me in, in late 2019. And that she's, she's known me for the last couple of years. And she first met me when I was invited to speak on City Awakening and the Awakening Within when I was speaking with my father, Warren, and, other, and others. And basically, that's how she got to know me and how she got to learn about my healing work. And so she signed up with the DNA activation in 2019. And just from doing that alone, it not only healed physical injuries, so physical injuries that, sh that had bothered her for years, like around her back and other physical parts of her body, but it also got her, it also connected her to the higher masters and it helped her to gain much more clear insight and guidance on what her true path and purpose was. And it accelerated and accelerated her growth and her journey on this spiritual walk. And this is Christine Evans from Wajin in, w, in WA. And, the, and, she, and in her words, she first met me through, War, through Warren, my father, when she came to our house to, to experience an auric clearing from not from me and Warren as a combined duo, where we both, com, com, where we both did in that one session already uh, released all kinds of traumas and pains and other issues um, bothering her in her body and in her life for years um, that, and that it resulted in her in tears. And since, and, based, and since that day, and since that day, she's been learning all kinds of different methods of clearing from me and different information on how everything works in the spiritual realm and in, and in life. Um, that, and, that she's, and that she's been on almost every training that I have done. And she's been, and that she she loves that she loves to stay committed to to this kind of work and with me, and she, and that she also and she also said to take it to take the opportunity with both hands if if you ever have the opportunity to work with me. So that's Christine Evans. So now clearing your blockages. Now we'll get into that and the chakras. So we went over this a bit before about each chakra meaning something. Okay, so now before we do the clearing, I'll now open it up for some quick questions if anyone has any. So does anyone have any questions? Lady Cole, can you show us the chakra screen again? Yeah, sure. There we go. So, so now I'll just leave it up for a quick second here. All right. Is auric healing in 5D, Linda? Um, in a way, yes. So with 5D and even higher, because when we're doing auric clearing, we, we, that it, I channel the higher masters, the higher ascended masters, which means that it, that, which means that, that I operate from the higher, from those higher dimensions instead of the, instead of in this physical realm, because if I did that, if I did, then I, I definitely wouldn't be able to achieve the results I have been able to. Um, and it would be very different. So, yep, or healing is in 5D in a way. Okay, so does anyone else have any questions before we start?
Okay, cool. So no questions. All right. Okay, so we'll now so we'll now just get into straight into the clearing. So so now what we'll what we'll do here with this auric clearing, we'll you'll be getting a taste of what it's like. So what I'll do is I'll be clearing the first three chakras. So the first three chakras will be clearing those for, for this live clearing. So now everyone focus on this code and inhale it to all to the first three chakras. Even with your intention, you can do that. And for now, I'll just turn my video off um, just while the clearing is happening. So we'll breathe in through your nose for four counts. And hold for four counts. And breathe and breathe out through the mouth for eight. Breathe in through the nose for four. Hold for four. And breathe out through the mouth for eight. And just keep breathing and keep imagining the code in your first three chakras. Okay. It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that this auric calibration code be used to clear any occupants, ids, discarnates, personalities, personas, or any, or any other related auric attachments from each person's first, second, and third chakra. The first one around survival, and around the physical world, the second one around the creative energy and the sexual energy, and the third one around self-power and self-esteem and self-empowerment. <coughs> we, we now clear any of those auric attachments and the emotions linked to them and, and restore each person here to their higher to their highest frequency potential and original divine function now to asia in today and just keep breathing scrambling those emotions and those auric attachments transforming them into unconditional love and into strength into peace bringing peace of mind to each person here
<sighs> Pouring in the golden liquid light. Pouring in the unconditional love from source, the higher masters. Setting each person here free in their first three chakras. Okay, so how's everyone feeling after that clearing? Delmo, good. And my head feels woozy. <laughs> yeah, there was certainly a lot going on there. Irina, enter. Helena, tired. Irina, better. Yep. Oh, yeah. Gail, feeling light. Daniela, colors more intense. I mean, you hypnotized this. Yeah, it was certainly pretty deep. Michelle, calm. Saatchi, tired and sleepy. Judith, very relaxed. Fiona, tired and light. Michael, my stomach was shaking. Yeah, I was really feeling it in the gut there. 
Linda seeing white light, Barbara yawning and burping, tired, <laughs> Michelle light, Penny dizzy, Mariah, sorry, I lost connection for past 20 minutes, just got back on. Well, that's all right, Mariah, I'm sure you, you felt you, I'm sure that clearing would have passed on to you. Suzanne, Yeshua appeared before me. Oh, wow. Wow, that's wonderful. That's, that's, that's awesome, Suzanne. Daniela feeling peaceful. Judith, I felt like a contraction. Deb and Mark yawning, relaxed. Sharon came on, came in on the end of it. Had a major shift today. Feel great. Hiccup, which I don't usually do. Wow, awesome. Wow, it's great to see all these shifts happening. So when Rob and lightheaded. Mariah, thank you, William. Yeah, no worries. Chris Hill, not sure. Are we meant to stare at the code the whole time or close our eyes? Uh, well, 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 I mean, whatever works for you, Chris. You can you can stare at the code the whole time. But what but what we usually do is we would inhale the code to the chakras and then close our eyes and imagine it there. But either way, it will work. We now increase the energy, we clear the tiredness, the heaviness, lift it off, bring, bring in the light and the energy. Penny, I just saw code briefly, so I just imagined colors as I remembered there. Well, yeah, that will work. And you don't even have to imagine the code specifically, even with just your intention, it will work. Victor, I definitely felt the energy and power in my head region. Awesome. So now everyone just take a glass of water. Now we'll just take a glass of water to integrate that and to, and to lift off the heaviness to increase our energy again. Paddy said, cool, it, it should have worked. It should have worked. I saw a vortex, like a whirlwind around me at one point. Oh, wow, Paddy. So it sounds like that vortex must have been, mean, been like a whirlwind to spin all the stuff out and to spin out whatever was going on. Linda felt body chills. Yeah. Paddy, yeah, I added fire, lol. <laughs> Gail, I see gold flowing up my spine. Sharon, me too, getting body chills and magnetic tingles. Wow. <sighs> okay. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you, everyone. So now that now that the live clearing is over, we'll now we can now we can now go to the next step of this training. So before we do that, is do, is there any questions before that anyone has before we move to the next part? Penny, is the code always the same? Uh, it, uh, mostly yes, that code is the one you, that you, that's mostly used when, with an auric clearing, but you can use different ones. You can use different ones as well. And Irina, are we able to do this on our own daily? Oh, you bet. You bet you can. I mean, and it's, it's, and it's important that you do doing this. Doing doing these kind of clearings on yourself regularly is what will is what will help you stay clean. I mean, think about it like a shower. 
I mean, we we always shower so we can keep our body clean and not smelling like with perspiration. So it's like that. I mean, we keep we have a spirit. We use this like a spiritual shower to keep ourselves clean constantly. Um, um how did how did they stop the rescuing? Asking for a friend. How how do they stop the rescuing? Well, the main thing. Well, there's definitely layers to that, M, but the main, the first, the, but I mean, but the main thing, the main, the main thing of stopping rescuing is by not getting caught up in other people's energy. So you must make sure that you don't get caught up in other people's energy and take it on. Penny, can I screenshot the code? Well, well, Penny, the truth, the truth, the truth is we do this, this will be recorded. So if you need to look at the code, if you do need to look at the code again, you can always go to the replay. Menu, can you do all chakras at once or is it better to focus on some? You can do all chakras at once as a general clearing, but, but whatever, but whatever, but, um, but, Whatever is going on within you, I mean, it's better that um, it's better that you focus on specific chakras because you'll get much better results that way. You'll get better results with focusing on specific chakras. But if you do, but all chakras can be good when you wanting if you just want to do like a general clearing. How do you check your karma you may have with someone? Well. That, that kind of thing will unfold naturally the more you clear and work on yourself, Judith. That will kind of unfold naturally. And it, and it takes practice. So using the code with intention and script is how I can perform the auric clearing daily. Well, yeah, you can just, I mean, as I mentioned earlier, this will be a replay. So you can always come back to this and it, and we'll have it on YouTube. So you can always come back to it and, and do that kind of thing. I had a strange memory of being left in a restaurant by a date two decades ago. He went out for a cigarette and never came back. Oh dear, do weird old memories suddenly come flooding back after clearings? Lol. Oh, you bet they do. Yes. They, as you clear yourself more and more, old things which you may have forgotten or you thought were not relevant anymore will come up to be cleared. And you may find that you, you do need to clear them even if it seems silly. Like... <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. So, so, so now, so now, okay. So now that we've covered the questions, we'll now, we'll now move to the next part of this training. So uh, first I have a few questions for you. When you leave this training, you've got a lot of great information from me, right? However, if you haven't done or clearing before, it can be a little overwhelming. So I'm sure that makes sense. So what can you do about it? because that was just a taste of what an auric clearing is. So it might, so it probably sounds a little overwhelming, a full one. So the question is, what can you do about it? We'll get to that. And finally, is it okay if I show you the fast and easy way to make all of this happen for you? Just type a Y in the text chat if so. Awesome. Okay, awesome. Okay, so how would you like to receive a step-by-step -step live course on how to implement this incredible, simple yet effective clearing program into your life? The great thing with the Auric Clearing Program is that you will be able to shift your blockages and eliminate any hidden sabotages sooner. You will then be able to freely manifest more money, experience better health, uh, receive and get more, get higher energy and basically live the life that you've always desired.
Okay, so now let's go through the life-changing transformational pro process. And that if you're ready to take your life, health, wealth, and relationships to the next level, this course will help you with all these different things. Clearing imprints in your auric field to eliminate financial blockages and self-sabotage. Clear negative energy, dark entities, curses, hexes, and spells around your business and investments and around your health, your spiritual journey, your auric field, or anything related. Clear unlimiting unconscious association with taxes and government silently holding back your success. So even, even if you've got gone as high as, as being caught up with, with governments and the higher um, authorities, clear energetic blockages and beliefs around health and relationships, freeing you from sickness and unhappiness, clear alignment obstructions in finding your life's purpose, create an energetic impenetrable shield over your health, wealth, and your family. So now, okay, so now let's go through the course and let's go over what each class covers. The first class is all about building your spiritual foundation. In this class, we will introduce you to auric clearing as well as the scientific and esoteric foundations to prepare your mind, body, and spirit to be cleared, allowing you to be free and unlimited, incorporating a new pathway to the life that you desire. The second class is all about shifting your financial blockages. And in this class, we cover auric clearing around money constraints, helping you shift blockages from your business, investments, tax, and regulatory institutions by showing you how to tap into your intuitive manifesting powers to design and create the life you want. The third week is about transforming your life around relationships, health, and physical body. In here, we go deep into the art of auric clearing around relationships, health, and transformational healing, coupled with advanced strategies and action steps with doctors, naturopaths, and health professionals to enhance overall health and vitality and your energy levels. And, and, and as an added bonus, there will be, uh, as an added bonus, we will be blending the previous three trainings together for a final integration. In here, we, th this is the final integration session where we combine all three trainings together and incorporate new advanced and quantum methods to fast track the results that you want in health, wealth, and your life. Okay, so, okay, so now, so now week one, is 499.25 week two is also 499.25 week three and week four so this totals the value to 1997 so this is the value of the course so here's what you'll so here's what you get four transformative trainings at time four transformative trainings 1997 unlimited lifetime access to the trainings of each session 197 totaling the value to 2,194. Now I want to reward you if you've already made up your mind, because you will be happy to hear that you get these awesome bonuses as well, as well as the course. The, the first bonus will be a personalized one-on-one -on -one clearing session with myself to enhance your results. And I will help you achieve that by clearing whatever you want cleared in the fastest time possible. So whether it's health problem, past traumas, depression, or sadness, financial, or whatever it may be. And this is valued at 197. The second bonus you will receive is our transformative JSILS training, where we help you remove energetic implants that could be sabotaging your health, your wealth, and relationships. This is also valued at 197. So here's what you'll get um, in total. Four transformative trainings, 1997. Unlimited lifetime access to the trainings of each session, 197. One-on-one -on -one personalized healing session, 197. And a JSEALS recorded course, 197, totaling the value to 2,588. Okay, so, th so this program has a $2,588 value. 
However, you won't, you won't, you won't have to pay that today. So for fast decision makers, you, it's, it will only be 528 up front or five easy installments of 119.40 per week. So only 528 up front or the five easy installments of 119.40 per week. So this is for today only. So for today only, I mean, for, I mean, for 24 hours, this, this offer will last. After that, it's gone. And, uh, and on top of that, we have a risk-free guarantee. This is our 100% ironclad risk-free investment. You sign up for the course, and if you're not happy and you don't achieve the results we promise you, we'll let us know and we'll give you a full refund, no questions asked. So, so when I say 24 hours, I actually, I actually meant that I'll give you until the end of the weekend to do for that. So today only, in other words, in, until the end of the weekend, this offer will last. After that, it's gone. So 528 up front, one-off investment, or five easy installments of 119.40 per week. So, so this, so this, so this is for this is for only up to this up to the end of this weekend, just for clarification. Okay, so this, so this is, so this is a very, so this is a limited training. So, so, so this, so this will be, a, so this will be a very limited. This is a limited training as it normally is. Spots, spots generally tend to fill up fast. So, and okay, it's some okay, Linda. And Sharon, is that USD or AUD? That's USD. So just that's USD for clarification. How long is the course per week? So so each, so there'll be so there'll be three classes plus that bonus integration. And each each class will be 90 minutes, so one hour and a half. Okay, so now is there any questions on that? Is there, does anyone else have any questions on this? Will classes be recorded? Yes, they will be, Michelle. Um, yep, each class will be recorded, and you can, which means you'll be able to access it whenever you like. You can go back to it as much as you want. Gail, thank you. Yep, no worries, Gail. Barbara Coles, what day? So that, so it will start. So today is Friday. So it will start next week on Wednesday. At, 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 it will start next week on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Perth time. So Australian Eastern Standard Time, that will be 2 p.m. So that, so that it'll, it'll be every Wednesday at 11 a.m. And it will last for 90 minutes for each class. Okay, so now, so just, so now, just type, so type a Y if, the, if signing up interests you. And Fiona says, can I use my phone and not a laptop? Yes, you can. That, yep, that'll work, just, that will work as well. Daniela says, Daniela, yes. Michael, yes. Sharon, yes. Interest me. Michelle, okay, excellent. Okay, so now and Barbara, Barbara, yes. All right, wonderful. All right, so now, so and Judith, I'm thinking about it. Yep. So, so that's what's yeah. That's why Judith. Oh, so what will happen is that. So just to clarify. So like I said, I'll give it to the end of the weekend to, for this offer. And uh, after that, you can still get it for 528 and all. But the main difference is that you, do, you won't receive any of the bonuses that will come with it, just to clarify. Uh, 
Okay, so and for and okay, so to sign up, everyone. So, so the the link. So we have. So we now have the link in the text chat placed by the staff. So can everyone see? Can everyone see the payment link? Judith can, yep. Deb and Mark, yep. And just to make it easier to sign up, I'll put I'll place I'll place it once again. I'll also place it myself. So Gail can't, yep, I'll place it myself here. Okay, there we go. Michelle, thanks, William. That was very good. Cheers. Barbara, yes, can see it. Yep. So Barbara and anyone else interested. So all you have to do is simply click the link and it will direct you to a to it will direct you into another into a page and what will happen then is you simply scroll down and then you choose then you click the button and you you fill in your details and then then you choose your payment option and then you'll be all good to go Penny, I bookmarked it. Thanks, William. Yep, Th thanks, Penny. Susie, thanks, William. Uh, okay, so so Warren, do you have any comments here? No, look, thanks, William. That was really good. And, um, yeah, look, I mean, one of the things that I originally learned this when I was in Vegas, as I mentioned many years ago, and I paid five thousand US to learn it with Toby and go through the protocol and be certified and all that kind of stuff. And so, to this day, it's probably one of the probably the best thing I learned in terms of keeping my energy field clear, because that was something I used to get very frustrated. So, um, and look, William just teaches and does this so well. You will walk away with the recordings and be able to use it. So the reason that we charge quite well for this. Um, I mean, not what I paid for it. I paid five grand, and everybody who learned the course basically with Toby paid that. Is to make it affordable, but yeah, also just to make sure there's some fair exchange. Because rest assured, you will get absolutely brilliant value. I want to make sure William gets well rewarded for it. You know, because this is how he earns his um, this is how he generates his um, you know, cash flow um for his life basically. And um, and yeah, it's, it's just really, really good. And deliberately give the money back guarantee. So for whatever reason. You just think, you know, after, you know, doing a class or two, you think that nah, this just isn't what I wanted to do. I've changed my mind. You can pull out and we've always on our guarantee. And we just do that simply because, um, yeah, end of the day, we know it will get results if for whatever reason. It just, you realize you wish you had done it, you can pull out. You know, you've got that guarantee. So that's just to uh, be upfront, let you know how it all works. Um, but yeah, look, thanks everyone for coming along and really investing in it. Um, those of you who want to hear William again, he will also be, um, you know, there'll be, in, I think he'll be speaking, we'll be speaking again soon at one of our City Awakening. I'll let you know more details on, that, um, on the Telegram chat. All right, wonderful. Well, thank you, Warren. And, uh, and I thank you, thank you, everyone. I thank you all for taking time out of your day and your evening to attend this webinar and to, to watch it, watch all the way to the end here. And I really, I enjoyed this training and I trust that all of you enjoyed it as much as I did. And to those, in, and to those interested in signing, in signing up, in, uh, in si and signing up, um, I look forward to working with you. And I look, I look forward to doing this course with all of you next week. So, so, so thanks everyone. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. <laughs>